Paula Davis is her name. She was killed back in 1987. Her body dumped near the Hoke Road entrance ramp to I-70. And for 22 years, everything about her has been a mystery. But that is all beginning to change. This is Paula Beverly Davis. She was 21 years old when police say her naked and strangled body was dumped in this grassy area off the side of Interstate 70 in Inglewood. For years, police have worked the case hoping someone would be able to identify Jane Doe from these sketches. The similarities between the two are striking, but still police hit a dead end. Until last fall when Davis's family started a search of their own. Through the missing person's website, Name Us, they found Inglewood's case and contacted investigators. Remarkably, DNA has confirmed that without a doubt, Jane Doe is Paula Davis. Now police are trying to piece together the events that led up to her murder. They say Davis's former best friend and roommate told them she and Davis worked as prostitutes to support a drug problem. And the two frequented a truck stop located on Interstate 70 in Kansas City, about a nine-hour drive from Inglewood. The Saturday night, which would have been August 8th, was the last night that she saw Paula alive. Uh, and she believes she got into a semi-truck and unfortunately never returned. Now that there's new life to this investigation, officers say they'll keep searching for Davis's killer. Regardless of who you are, no one deserves to be murdered uh, and strangled the way Paula was. And although only part of the story is closed by knowing who she is, uh, you know, the best case scenario would be one day to identify the individual that did this to her. And investigators tell me they are not ruling anything out. For example, they're even looking into a serial killer who was active during that time period in Kansas City. But in the meantime, if you have any information on this case, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 222-7867. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.